draw the isometric view of the given views. Right? So now in this sum, what we will do? First, we will draw a box. Now see this. If you see this, origin is over here. 100 is on the left side. So we'll draw 100 on left side. Height is how much? 70. So we'll take height 70. And width is 65. So that will take it on this side. So first we will draw a box. After drawing this box, see this is origin, this is 30, 30. So I have taken 100 on left side of origin. Why? Because we have 100 on the left side of the origin. Then height is 70 and width is 65. So first we will draw a box and after that, now we will see front view. So now in front view, there are three parts. See part 1, part 2, part 3, right? So out of this part 1, 2, 3, which one is nearer to you? See, observer is over here. So when observer will see from here, so this part is nearer to him, right? This one, see this. So part 1 is nearer to him, see. This is part 2, part 2 is here. This is part 2 and this is part 3. So first we will draw part 1. So what we will do, we will take, now if you see the dimension wise, how much is this? 12. So we will take 12 from here, then go down straight. How much is this height? 12. We we'll take 12 from here and we'll draw a line. All these lines will be parallel to 30, 30 degree. So that we can do it with set square. So we are done with this part 1. Right? Now if you see in top view, they have, they have given full. This part 1 is through and through. So that we can draw part two, sorry, part one, right? So this is what I have drawn in top view. And then this is what I have drawn in front view. Now I want to draw part two. Now if you see, how much is this behind? If you see part two is, now in exam, this dimension was not given, right? So what we can do, we, we can assume. So according to our calculation, this is 10, this is a 65. This is also 10, so this must be somewhere around 30. So I'm just assuming this 30, right? So in exam, you can assume. If it is not mentioned, you, you can assume. Now how much is this? 65. This is 40. So this will be how much? 25. So you need to go behind by 25. So I'll go behind by 25. Now how much I have to go down? Now if I see this, how much is this? 70. This height is 12 plus 50. So this will be 8 down. So I'll go behind by 25 because this is 25. So I'll go behind by 25 and I'll go down by 8. So I'll get that point. Now from that point, I can draw this line behind. See this. Now if you see this, how much is this total? It is 44. So what we will do, go behind by 25, go down by 8 and then you draw line which is equal to 44 right same way you go down by 8 again you draw line 44 and you can draw this part so see this part 2 right now it is with a slot so that we can draw now if you see this is through and through this is through and through, straight, right? So I can go down and from here I will take the line. So I will get this point. If you want to find out this height, so that height is how much? 50. So you can go down by 50 or you can draw a vertical line from here and parallel line from here, you will get it. Then again you will take how much this? 44. Then again you go down by 50. How much is this? 12. So you go down by 12. 12. Join this. From here also you go down by 12 and join this. So it will be like this. It will be like this when you draw. Right? 
Now I need to draw part 3. But now I am about to see this, I have to go behind also. So how much I have to go behind? How much is this? 30 from here. And I will draw this line. After that, if you see, see this line is through and through. So that I will take through and through. Now they have given this 10. See, so see this, this is 10. So I can take 10 here also and join this. So I got part 3, this part 3. Then we join this to this. So we are done with this given two views. We have, we have drawn isometric view using these two views.